Akkulunyu, those with white sheep. No one ever plays as this nation in EU4 multiplayer. I mean, why would you? They're bordered by Ottomans, Mamluks, and other player nations. Historically, the white sheep, not the black sheep, was the one who conquered much of the Persia region in less than 50 years from the EU4 start date. So why isn't a Kalunyu a slot in EU4 multiplayer games? An unknown man from Samarkand answers that question in his EU4 multiplayer mod, which I cannot say in this video or will be demonetized. A Kalunyu should be playable and it should have potential as it did in real life. Uzun Hassan will be the one that leads this nation and lead our armies to glory. Though this mod buffs us up to 78 development, are we able to contend and be a strong player in a playable lobby with a player Ajam, Ottomans, Mamluks, Rasids? Only time will tell. In this 55 player EU4 multiplayer lobby, I started this game like a normal man. But this metamorphosis only comes once in a lifetime. I can't even cut you off. How can I cut you off? I'm gonna cut him off. Not Immediately, tensions rose between me and the Ajan player over who takes what from the black sheep. Thanks to the developers at Paradox, our confederacy has a completed mission tree, which could give us access to the tribe's estate and the very strong formable of Persia. For the player on Ajam, this isn't your normal single player campaign run. And even though we conquered a lot in the first 10 years of the game, Ajam was our first enemy. Immediately in this story, we were in a player war. Wait, you decked? I'm, I'm supporting. Hey, Marine. Oh okay. my god, is, a, it, is it our third Ancon 1450? We were able to siege Tabriz without fighting a single battle. But the question was do we continue to push forward and try our luck pushing into the mountains of Ajam? Or do we try to negotiate? You're just asking for that state. That's a lot. Drifted, but I got the no, I want money too. I lost. Fighting a single battle, Ajam conceded to us a state and some money. But the tribes under Uzun Hassan were dissatisfied with this and wanted even more. I'm I'm yeah, embracing rap behavior. I'm giving you a warning right now. Oh, oh dude. Yeah. Actual rap behavior. <laughs> Actual rap yeah, behavior. Yeah, farce. Show of strength was not over, and we allied the AI farce to stop this Ajam from forming Persia. <laughs> Oh, why did you uh, it again? No, bro. Oh, like, no, no, forgive no, me, no. Sal. Forgive me. For I have sinned. Is it going to truce break me? Or is it going to stay out like the falls? Oh, both. Forgive me, Sal. Why is it saying forgive me? It's going to truce break. He's going to truce break. He has toxic. Oh, no. Admin for this is a red behavior. Why did... uh, I for Can I bring Henry back? <laughs> Why did you truce break? Okay, what we do is we ban oh Habibi from God. the Prabhupada. Yeah. yeah. Darling, you shouldn't have done that. Ever done. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh no. Rap behavior. It's rat, uh, rat behavior. He's in your country. Jam now knew I was trying to kill him, and he was not going to go down without a fight. We could have oh, went yeah. into Ottomans together or into Manlo. What? Okay, I'm I'm coming. No, I I am not going to do that. I I leave my lands. I go to Persia. But Jam had more men than expected and pushed us back off his lands. But we sat and waited until he finally bankrupted. Oh. Oh, it's so over, Selbros. It is. Oh, and it's minus 100. Yeah, we've max loans for like 2 or 3 years or maybe. <laughs> oh. Yeah, you gotta just have to push me more, and then you would have just won. Defeated the player on Ajam before he could form Persia, but now we sat on a huge pile of debt. 3,000 ducats, to be exact. <laughs> a 
and if it wasn't for the Ottoman and Mamluks warring each other, we would have crumbled under their pressure and been destroyed. The ideal situation is that they both die from fighting each other. At all this new land, but without the ability to develop it, it was kind of useless, and with rebellion constantly popping up, we had to use our resources dealing with it. We even started getting trolled by the Venice player who supported the independence of our vassal states, leading to them declaring war on us. We won a player war against the Sajam, but at what cost? Our nation was pretty garbage. garbage. Then we can also do break Timur's bloodline. Give us siege decay until the end of the game. Now we do need to own all of this stuff to progress here. We need 10 discipline or 40 cav combat ability to progress there. And then here we need prestige of 40 to click this one. Actually, need to get prestige chat. I've determined. Need to get prestige. Anyway, it's time to get tech 300 for that one, 354 for that one, and it's 156 for this one. What? 156 chat to take tech. Oh my, look at all the bonuses we have. After some years of stability, our income was starting to rise. Despite that, our nation was still pretty bad compared to our neighbors. Trade of spice and silk into the Persian trade node was helping us recover and helping us build up, but we still, even till the 1500s, were building and paying off debt. The leaders were good and our mana generation was very nice, which allowed us to develop, but was it enough? Meanwhile, the Mamluks were getting attacked from multiple angles, from Yemen, Ethiopia, Ottomans, and I felt like I had to help them. A mistake was made. I made the Rasid dynasty my new enemy. Wait, is that Svevlad? Oh, dude. How do I always end up fighting Svevlad, dude? Okay, quick backstory. There's a Serbian player called Svevlad. I don't know where he came from, but I always end up fighting him. Huh? Here we go again. I just want my node, man. Guys yeah, then it. fight Poland for it. He has like same amount land as me. I mean, I have 100k. I thought you had way more. Q says Prussia. You are the aggressor just by existing. You can't be this big as Prussia. This is a known yeah, rule. It's, it's true. The well, it's EU is for... All the products we Serbs create, they steal. They, they bring nothing. It's not on purpose. We're not purposely targeting Svevlad. But we ended up joining on Mamluks' side here to help them because they were getting gangbanged. I was totally fine with Ottomans and Mamluks dying in each other's arms, but the moment the Ottomans started calling Ethiopia and Yemen, I felt like I had to get involved. This Yemen was no joke. What the fuck? Oh, I need to accept it now. Or I will go minus three stuff. While we were live action role playing as horse lords trying to stabilize a realm with a lot of debt, the Ottomans and Mamluks were having non-stop war, and it came to a head when the Ottomans started winning. However, the Ottoman took a huge amount of debt that made them vulnerable to Hungary and Venice. The Ottomans won against Mamluks, but Mamluks ended up getting vultured by Ethiopia and Yemen, and this Yemen was really hard scaling with the new Russ admission tree and for some reason I became a republic which was a really stupid choice. Why did I become a republic? Yeah, from tribal confederacy to republic totally makes sense. Horse republic. Great one Habibi. While Yemen was scaling and about to form Arabia I was struggling to deal with my republican tradition. Knock knock, it's me, Svevlad. I formed Arabia, Habibi, and I'm a stronger nation than yours. I'm being sieged. Why my general oh. going? It's over. Although the Ottomans were about to bankrupt, 
the Arabians, formed by the Yemenis, formed by the Rasids, were now interested in the Baghdad region. They wanted that juicy Mesopotamia area for themselves. My ally Mamluks was dead. What can a man do against such reckless hate? There were just too many Arabians for us to handle, and they pushed us so hard, and we bankrupted. And of course, he truce broke us after defeating us once. Our nation was scuffed before, but now it's really scuffed. Is this the story of how a Q ends? To death? To the Arabians after we helped the Memlukians? Is this another failed campaign to add to the playlist? You're probably thinking so. But wait. Look at that video length. The story doesn't end here. Before we continue on, I have to say that this Saturday, the 27th of January, will be the first ever Habibi EU4 Arena 1 vs 1 tournament. EU4 Arena is a 1 vs 1 mod created by me and my team that makes a fun, quick 1 vs 1 experience with formals and many unique game mechanics. The scenarios aren't only fun to play, but they are also fun to watch. This Saturday, the 27th of January, the top 8 players in a 1 vs 1 will face off for a $120 prize pool tournament. Join the fun and watch live at twitch.tv slash absolute habibi. Yeah, we lost some land to Arabia. And actually, we lost even more land to Arabia as he took another 100% piece seal of land. Ottomans were bankrupt and they were dead. So it was our time to expand into Anatolia. There's one thing I want to show you guys in EU4 MP. You're not dead off of one lost war. And in this case, I lost three times 100% and I'm still playing on. Happy B, if he took Persia, you came rid of it. Shut! There's other things we can form, like room. We'll have this AQ mission to explore. And of course, we get the Trebizond or the Pontic culture as accepted. And as long as we're able to expand westward towards Anatolia, which Hungary was fine with, we were fine and we could rebuild our nation anew. Three lost wars to Arabia? Ha! Make it four lost wars, dude. As long as I still had lands to develop, I'm still freaking gaming, dude. Play on. We develop. We get stronger. We build up. Our economy gets better. Our buildings get better. Our nation gets stronger. Just do it. Do Just it. do it. It doesn't matter how big Arabia Just is. And due to our strong diplomatic prowess, we were able to secure the room formable from Hungary, as well as a defensive alliance with the Golden Horde and Hungary in case Arabia wanted to keep going into Anatolia. Yes. The time has come, my boys. Is it ready to be? It's the yeah. time has come. Okay, I'm, I'm Are we gonna wait? No, this? I clicked the wrong button. Why did what that did pop up? The pop what up the for the you? prepare for holy war just came up. Oh my it's god. Fucking, what, what does that mean? You can't. I lost what? all my legalism. Okay, dude. What? I, I <laughs> thought you couldn't form rum, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there you go. Oh, oh. This like this looks like it's Turkey, back. Though. I'm back. It can reconquest its cores now. Yeah. Oh, I have I have the new Ottoman mission tree. No way. Yes. You do? Oh. Oh, okay. I think I don't think I start. You start that hype. That usually doesn't sound good. So Barack. We're so back. Not only do we have better ideas thanks to being room, we also have the entire new. Ottoman mission tree. Now that we have formed room, does that mean we're going to get our cores back? Well, not yet. We still have some developing to do.
Portugal! Oh, poor little Habibi, he lost. Oh, I'm a great power. I'm not poor. I'm a great power. I have 650k max manpower. That's almost the same as Arabia. I almost have the same income as Arabia. You see that coming? Now it's time to get our land back. Now it's time to get our revenge on our arch. Is that Moogles? Is that the Moogle player right now? Helping the Arabia player, the number one GP Arabia? Since technically Portugal was still at war with Arabia, there, even though Portugal's armies were trapped in Sri Lanka, the Mughals player decided to help the Arabia player, his ally, which is totally reasonable. It's not really unexpected. Um, but, but even though we're getting stab hit right here and we end up accepting a stab hit and losing to Arabia, it's not over yet. I'm attacking you next session, dude. They're gonna. I mean, it's not I gonna be me, but they would lose. It's not gonna How be me. How much were the casualties? Yeah, <laughs> you're leaving. No, you can't oh, leave uh, this Arabia. I am leaving, guys. Yeah. This was too much. I, I won! I won! I beat Spevlet again. <laughs> I don't need to beat you. I don't need to beat you. I just need to okay. out mental you. Okay. No, I don't need to beat you. I just need to out mental you. It's You're not, not coming back next week, I, dude. I have six million. You're not that's, coming back next week, so. I'm not, because I don't want to play this uh, fighting girling. <laughs> the Arabia player no longer wanted to continue the campaign, which, again, understandable. He just fought a 31 year long war against Portugal, and now there's this cockroach room Habibi coming at him every chance that he's got. But, chat, it's all about the mental victories. I may have not gotten my cores back on the map, but I, today, was mentally victorious. I outlasted my arch nemesis. He no longer wanted to play this Arabia. I wanted to keep playing this room. This lobby died after this session because other people didn't want to play as well because lobby was getting stale, but I still wanted to play. I still wanted to play. I still wanted to game. I was still there. I still came back. I still fought. I dev every single province to 30 development. And yeah, that's the end of the story of uh, how I played Ari Kaliunyu in EU4 multiplayer. This vid was a lot, a lot different than my other videos. Normal videos coming up very soon, very shortly. I just wanted to upload this for my sake and for you to keep fighting, to keep showing up, to keep being there. Because maybe... Your opponent will get tired and doesn't want to play the game anymore and will just quit. Like what happened here. That's all I have to say for you. Thank you for watching. Su Habibi, the big nose gamer, is also about strong mental mindset. Remember that. Remember that in your nose. Because my nose is big. Thank you, my direct supporters and patrons. GigaChat, Chogos, RVR, Mason and Druska, Hardbam, Hassiam, Azorovia, Will, Fabulous Snail, Beyond, GigaChad, Tonix, Fields, Djax, Kolkarp, Johan Askeland, Lawford, Dashawn Moore, Trevor Kosman, Joss Voriad, Diane Mason, and GigaChad. Thank you so much for directly supporting me. And if you want my saves and other perks and you want to directly support me, check out my Patreon. Link is in the description.